between being and non-being. principle also says something about uh, cooperations, uh, about collaborations between different partners. And um, here uh, at uh, Technical University of Munich, as well as at the University of Tokyo, we are committed to excellence. Uh, excellence is a very important element here. Uh, we uh, have had the, or we still have the German Excellence Initiative of the federal government. Uh, which has been running now for a number of years and which Technical University of Munich was one of the first um, uh, to be awarded uh, the uh, title of Excellence University. And of course, uh, there uh, a graduate school in excellence uh, on an international basis would be a good idea. But there, first you have to uh, have a collaboration of different disciplines, you have to have interdisciplinarity. Um, and you have to have it on a different, uh, on the level of different countries, on an international aspect. And there again, the noting principle comes into play because you cannot just take um, small pieces from each tradition and from each uh, partner and try to stick them t together and see if they they glue. And, and uh, but you have to uh, see what are the ideas, the original ideas behind those disciplines behind those different cultural traditions and then see how how you can fit those original ideas together and form something new form new schools new cooperations um, and, and and then um, we can find something that is uh, applied to our to the pro our the problems that we face today in in the globalized world and those problems i think um, are quite similar both in, uh, in Germany as well as, as in the EU at large and in, in Japan. And so these challenges we should uh, face together and in a cooperative way. So the Notung principle also means that you cannot just take ideas from philosophers, uh, from traditional philosophers, uh, from the Greek uh, uh, thinkers like Aristotle or Plato and apply them directly to the to today's world. Um, they were living in a very different time, in a very different society, in a very different economy and also under totally different uh, technologies of course. Um, so um, the, the ethics uh, tradition that we have are still based on, on Aristotle and on, on other Greek traditions. But uh, now we face different problems. For example, in the digital age we have um, digital uh, pr problems uh, of ethics in fields like, for example, autonomous cars. So I'm a member of, of the ethics committee for autonomous cars with the federal government and uh, there we are trying to establish new rules for autonomous cars and how uh, will they have to be programmed in order to uh, decide, for example, how to work in conflict situations where a, a crash is in, in, in inevitable, um, and or who is going to be re held responsible if there's a, if there's a crash, and those are totally new problems that we cannot solve directly by ethical uh, theories from the Greeks. However, uh, if we go back to the original ideas of, of Aristotle and see how they were trying to to deal with conflicts, how the, the idea of virtues, for example, was, and then see how that uh, idea in a, in a totally reformed uh, in new way can be applied to uh, autonomous cars or other situations, then it can be very be very uh, fruitful uh, in, by way of the of the Notung principle. Uh, a second area of application would be, for example, the Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoins uh, are a totally new uh, currency and probably will uh, prove to be a, a very new challenge to the banking system. And uh, 
traditional bankers are still very reluctant to, to acknowledge this. However, um, uh, Bitcoin can solve very old uh, ideas or problems, uh, old problems of the economy, also ethical problems of how to uh, govern a banking system in a very new uh, and interesting way. Uh, so in that way, by way of new uh, recomposition of old uh, ideas, also of ethical ideas, uh, solve um, our the problems that we face, the challenges we face in a new way.